Earlier this morning, Craig Ellison woke up dead. A surprising thing to happen, I know. Still on this day, at nearly 9 a.m., an hour before the time he planned to wake alive and refreshed, Craig found himself lifeless and undeniably departed. Survived by no one, remembered by few, Craig had lived a cloistered life, one heavily seasoned with solitude and social neglect. His brother Paul had encouraged him to get out more, try and make friends, or at the least take up a socially relevant hobby. But Craig did none of these things. His life, he was fond of saying, was a life destined for solitude, one free of the trappings of relationship and the demands of others, a life where his choice, and his choice alone, would decide the course of his days. And so it was, like a mountaintop flower, no eyes saw sprout or blossom, Craig lie alone in his bed, day in and day out, lacking awareness of the world, and in turn, the world lacking awareness of him. Until, that is, this morning, when he woke to find himself dead and wondering, how long will it be before my brother Paul finds my body? Following this thought, Craig paused, quietly realizing to wonder such a thing, he must still be alive. Then again, a second thought followed, dead, alive, does it really matter? <laughs>